take a look at the value 27 here in base 10 or decimal. Again, we want to convert this to binary, so we're splitting the table in two. And that means we need a B on this side of the table, and we simply need a 1 on this side of the table. To get our 1, we would simply turn all these bits off and turn this bit on. Now to get our B in hex, B is the value of 11. So we would want to turn the 8 bit on. Now if we turn the 4 bit on, that would be too large. So we would turn this off and turn these two bits on. And that would give us our 11. But let's look at the whole thing as far as the way it works on the binary table. If we turn these bits on in the following order, we're adding the 16 to the 8, to the 2, to the 1, we get 27. So you can see that 1b in hexadecimal is 00011011 in binary. And so it becomes easy to convert back and forth between hexadecimal and binary, or between binary and hex, and to get the corresponding base 10, or decimal value. In this way, every value is stored in a computer's memory, or can be translated into a series of bits and then organized in tables of bytes to either be stored on a hard drive in magnetic lines of flux, or organized in a memory registry, or burned as pits onto optical media. So if we were to look at the ASCII characters, and what is ASCII? A lot of people say, well, if we go to Wikipedia, it stands for the American Standard Code for Information Interchange. The acronym is ASCII. But when we say ASCII text, we're talking about text that's represented by a numerical code. And if you were to simply type in ASCII table, such as I'm going to the website ASCIItable.com, you could see that every character in a character variable or in a string has a corresponding numerical value between 0 and 255. And therefore, by turning on or off different combinations of bits in a byte table, I can represent any normal character, whether it's uppercase, lowercase, or punctuation, or other specific ASCII characters in the ASCII character set. Now, Java uses Unicode, but we can also use the, this ASCII table as an example. So let's say that I want to display the number 6. Well, that's different from the actual number 6, but its ASCII value would be 54. Let's say that I want to display the letter M, a capital M. What you see is M, but the way you represent it in a byte table or an arrangement of bits is as 77. Let's say I want the lowercase t that's a decimal value of 116, or the way that would be stored inside of a byte table. Additionally, on networkingprogramming.com, you can see some of the sizes of different variables or data types um, in both C++ and Java and you can see their corresponding base 10 and base 2 values and how they would be represented in a byte table as well as base 10.